welcome back to next gen blogger and in this video i want to show you how you can make use of the box blur filter in vhcc free video editor now box blur is actually part of a suite of blur filters which are there in vhcc and uh, if you actually go to video effects and filters you will find those blur filters right there so we have got box blur stack blur gaussian blur and motion blur but today we will look at the box blur filter in depth so without further delay let's get started with the tutorial now as you can see i've already imported a demo video in the editor and uh, the first thing which i would like to tell you is the definition of box blur filter so the simple and easiest definition of box blur is that it blurs the entire video that's the easiest definition of box blur it simply blurs the entire video and to apply a box blur filter double click on the video then go to video effects, go to filters, select box blur and click on OK. Now look inside the box blur effect settings which is present inside the properties window and uh, the option which we are really interested in is this one called blur levels which is currently set to zero and uh, which is also exactly the reason why you do not see any blur appear on top of my video. So let me just increase the blur levels from zero to let's say 20 and you will see a noticeable difference in my video as you can see a blur has been applied on top of my video so the next thing which I would like to do is I would like to shorten the duration of my box blur filter so currently the duration of my box blur filter is the entire duration of my video so let me just shorten the duration of my box blur filter like this and now let me just quickly play the video for you so this is my video playing and uh, this is where I've applied the box blur filter and when the filter ends my video starts playing normally once again um, another thing which I would like to tell you is the this is currently in constant parameter value so you can change this to linear parameter change so that you have two options 2020 as you can see currently 2020 is there inside the blur levels option so you can change this to 020 like this and uh, the box blur filter will gradually be applied on top of your video so as you can see the box blur filter is gradually applied on top of your video because you change this from constant parameter value to linear parameter change and um, this is how you can actually make use of the box blur filter in VSTC. You can try a lot of other things. So let's say if you actually go back to the editing timeline, you have applied the box blur filter somewhere around here. And, um, and at this particular portion, um, when the video gets blurred, you can actually show the audience any image which you want to show. Um, or any text which you want written on top of the screen and uh, you can do a lot of things like this but anyways do share with me your thoughts in the coming section below like the video and subscribe to my youtube channel i will again see you in the next video till then thanks for watching